Okay, hi. It's Engineer Victor again. Now it is this part three. But before that, please like my video and subscribe my channel. Okay, now we 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 are continuing. We have already assigned support to our Discover structure. Then we go down to load and definition. Okay. For this case, after click the load and definition, we do not just come direct to the load cases. Load cases declared. But before that, first of all, you need to to know that how many load are you going to consider in this box cover? Referring my Excel which I have before you previously, I'm going to have several kind of loading. I have dead load, superimposed dead load, horizontal pressure, and hydrostatic pressure, live load, and live load such. These are the load that I'm going to consider them in my structure. Okay. Now, what you'll do first is Click on the load case details, then come down here, click add primary load. We'll use primary load first. Type of load first. This is let's specify them as dead load because we are we have dead load. Then we will say this is a dead, dead load on top slab. This dead load, this is the Rule number one, top, oh, top slab, then add, as you can see, in my Excel, I have this dead load active on my, my, my dead load self with the Calvert top slab, which is 10. Then after that, okay, sorry, before that, not cases, I'll add again dead load but this one is the dead load on the bottom bottom slab then I'll add then I'm going to add a minimum minimum superimpose dead load I'll save my 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 Minimum superimposed dead load. I have maximum superimposed dead load. Then I have a I have a horizontal earth pressure. I have maximum horizontal earth pressure. Sorry, I write maximum. Horizontal earth pressure. I have a minimum horizontal earth pressure. I have a hydrostatic earth pressure. Earth pressure. I have a live. I have live load. HB, HA, or, or HB. Actually, it is HB loading. It is the one that gives us a severe load cases, which you can you come to see here. Obviously, we use the, the HB, which is 37.5. You need self HB. Add. Okay, but this one, sorry. Let's change first this one. Edit. This one is a live mode. Then after that, under load cases, we have another load under live mode, which is called the live load searcher. Searcher. Changes. Okay. This is the hit kind of load that we are going to consider. Okay. Dead load on the top slab. I will add 
at the load that, uh, that act on the member uniform load which is uh, negative 10.8 kilonewton per meter which is acting downward gy then add then before that we assign to the top slab to meet this that i'll click load in order to minimize the scale then after that i'll select the i'll come to the dead load on the bottom i'll member load with the load the member load acting on the bottom slab but this one it is possible acting upward with 7.8 803 all this value you can obtain on the link below on the description below then i'll come to the what also i select this one will act upward sorry then i have a minimum superimposed dead load minimum superimposed dead load is 72 it's also a member load that act on the top and bottom slab which is 72 g1 and the negative 72 and this negative 72 which will act on the bottom top slab and this 72 negative positive which will act on the bottom slab equal and each equal and opposite reaction then after that maximum superimposed then not the member not we have a negative 83 acting downward and the positive 83 acting upward this 83 will act downward this one will act upward okay after that we have a maximum horizontal pressure maximum horizontal pressure will we will add we will add this as a as a member load but uh, I'd, is it a trapezoid or no? It is isolated and as hydrostatic. Let's first select this member then W1, it means the, at the bottom one. Oops, at the bottom one, uh, that maximum we have uh, 92. And the, at the top, W2, we have uh, 49. Okay, let's save our. Uh, first it is 49 then direction it is it is at this side this side or this side it's acting x direction to x then apply add you can see now if i click here you see it's act on of the reverse one then i'll click edit then i'll put my negative sign so it will act in opposite in opposite way Okay, I need to add another one on the external wall, remember, hydrostatic, select this one, and select this one, W1, then I'll add 92, W2, and it is 49, direction is GX, and you can see, you have your hydrostatic, the top one, it is, uh, you, see, you can see the value, go to the label, then go to load value you can now see the top one is 49 but the bottom one is 92 now we have a minimum horizontal pressure we will add again member load we'll add a static then we we'll select this one this side w1 it will be uh, 31 and w2 is 16 this is the minimum horizontal pressure. The direction is GX. I'll add. I'll, I'll select another member. This one. I'll change this one to negative. Negative direction is GX. I'll add. Now, if I click here, you can see now. This is my horizontal pressure I can only have on the external walls of the, of the box carpet. Then, after that, I have a static pressure. Then, I will select my static pressure. Um, after clicking on the member load, I'll click on the static. Then after that, 
if the box is full of water it means this the opening will be full of water so the the hydrostatic will affect the external wall this internal wall and the and so on so what i can do is selecting this wall and click then w1 is 13 because the rise is 3 3 meter 3 times 10 density of the of the water and at the top is 0. It's obviously it is 0 but uh, I'll write 0 0.01 then I'll add then after that I'll select a member again I'll select this member this one and this one this will turn to post then I will add then after that I'll add a new form member this is the one that is active on the bottom slab but after that we have an upward reaction in order to get this how this load has been completed you need to have that excel which i developed then you see now this 30 i will assign on the bottom slab it will act downward because when the box is full of water it means the bottom slab will experience a pressure created by the passing water then I have an upward reaction caused by the water on top of on top of the bottom slab. This is how our hydrostatic earth pressure is going to act. Then after that, I'm going to have a live load. The live load, which is a HA load, HB loading, it is 23 negative 23. That will act on the top slab downward, and the 23 positive reaction that will act on the bottom slab upward. Okay, I'll assign. Then again, I will, I will assign. Then after that, I have a surcharge. This will act on the, as an inform node, it will act on the 96, 9.6, sorry. 9.6, 9.6. The negative this way I'll add this okay this one negative one I'll add I'll select on the external one and this positive one will act on the, the other external one you see now these are my my lots Okay, before that, we are going now to create a load combination basing on this load. You see how it's, it's act? This is how it's act. These are the loads. Now, let's go to create a load combination. <laughs> 